looks like we forgot to wrap a neuter pack. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have all the required supplies for the pack that you're wrapping. Next, you want to make sure you have adequate tubing to put the tools in. By measuring it out, you want to have excess room on the ends so you can fold it. You want to make sure if you have sharp ends on your instruments to wrap them in the gauze that you have putting into your pack to make sure that it doesn't perforate the tube. Then, slide it into the tube. Careful not to rip the sides. Now you want to fold over the end and place a piece of autoclave indicator tape. Next, you're going to want to fold over the other end, and it's important to make sure that the handles of the instruments that you're using are on the end that you're going to open from. Make sure you label the autoclave indicator tape with the initials, the date, and the contents of the pack. And place it on the end, and fold over the tabs. Make sure everything's sealed correctly. Now you are ready to autoclave. I'm ready to sterilize all this stuff. What do I do? Let me show you how to run the autoclave, Trisha. Well, you can't put all of that in the autoclave. Set that down. I'll show you what to do. The autoclave tray is only this big, so we can only fit so much stuff in. to know what I'm sterilizing in this pack. Well, packs should be properly labeled with autoclave tape. It should have the date it's autoclave, what's in it, and the initials of who wrapped it. Yes, like that. How many packs will fit? Well, you can't have any of the packs touch the side or each other. I have two in. Wow, this machine looks complicated. What are we supposed to do now? Well, before we start anything, we have to make sure it's filled with enough distilled water. It's full. Then, we're going to turn this knob here to fill. And make sure it doesn't go past the little knob in here. After it's filled to the metal tab, you close the door, and you turn this dial here to sterilize. You don't need to touch this dial. This will be our timer. After our pressure has reached 13 PSI, and the temperature has reached 121 degrees Celsius, or 250 degrees Fahrenheit, we set our timer here for 15 minutes. The timer just went off. Can I just open it up and no, grab no, the no. pack? First, you have to set the machine to vent. Then, crack the door, but stand back. It's really, really hot. Now that the autoclave is done running, we can take the packs out. Make sure that the autoclave tape has changed color. What am I supposed to do now that the packs are dry and sterile? Well, we need to put our packs up in a cupboard. They'll be considered sterile for seven weeks. 